Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I wanted to address a question that I get quite often from people manifesting a specific person, especially if they've been manifesting their specific person for a while. And the question is quite simple. I've been manifesting my specific person for quite a while. Why has it not manifested yet? So this is the question I'll be addressing in today's video, along with what you can do to speed up your SP manifestation. So stay tuned. So there's actually two main reasons why you might be manifesting your specific person and not seeing movement, not seeing any change, or maybe you have a partial manifestation, maybe you're seeing some movement, maybe you have some hot and cold, but in any event, it's not exactly what you want. The first reason, it's very simple, and it might actually be that you haven't persisted enough. And I want to clarify something here because there seems to be a lot of confusion around what it means to persist in a manifestation. When I say persisting in your manifestation, I don't mean persisting in the techniques. This is what a lot of people take persistence to mean, however, it's not exactly that. What you're persisting in, what you're really and truly persisting in, is the feeling of knowing that your desire is yours. The feeling of not being swayed by, what, by whatever the 3D might be showing, if it's something that's opposing to what you want, or if it's something that you perceive as negative, something that you perceive as a block, something that you perceive as making your manifestation harder. Despite this, you want to be persisting in the knowing that everything is working out for you, your relationship is coming, your SP manifestation is coming, it's on its way, everything is a bridge, and you want to be going about your life knowing that your manifestation is yours, it's already done. This is what persistence actually means. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are doing your affirmations or your inner conversations or your visualization or whatever you're doing day after day after day after day. I mean, that can be part of the process. If you need the help of these techniques to get yourself into the state where you feel that your desire is done, where you feel that your manifestation is coming, then yes, that is part of the process. However, if you're doing these techniques without them eliciting a state within you where you are feeling something along the lines of gratitude, relief, reassurance, confidence, inner knowing um, that your desire is actually coming, that your desire is actually on its way, you could be doing these techniques for a very long time and still not seeing movement. And the reason would be if these techniques don't elicit that state within you, that state of reassurance, that state of relief, that state of confidence and calmness that yes, my desire is already done, then all you're doing is you're just doing techniques, but you're not changing your state. So make sure that when you're persisting in your desire, you're actually persisting in the right state, in the state of, I know it's done, I know it's mine, I know it's coming. So to go back to my point, if you haven't persisted in that state long enough, and what long enough means will vary from person to person. For some of you, it could be mere days. For some, it could be weeks. For some, it could be a couple of months or a few months. So it varies from person to person what persisting for a while means. However, what you want to be doing is persist in that desire, persist in that state, persist in that knowledge until the 3D starts reflecting your new reality and your new story. The second very common reason, which is actually very relevant to what I just discussed in the first point, is that you might simply not have shifted your state. So if you're doing your techniques, you're doing your affirmations, you're doing your visualizing, you're doing your inner conversations, you're scripting, you're meditating, or whatever you might be doing, but you're not fundamentally changing your state within, you're not going from dwelling on the old story, dwelling on the circumstances, dwelling what the on, on what the current 3D is showing, to a calmer state, a more confident state, a state where you know that things are done for you, your desire is a promise, your desire is coming. It's already yours, and it's just a matter of when the 3D reflects it, but it already exists and it's already here. That's the state that you want. If instead your dominant state is still thinking about the old story, thinking about the old version of your SP, thinking about the old version of the relationship and of yourself in it, 
expecting your specific person to behave and to treat you like their old version, dwelling on the circumstances, dwelling what you're seeing as obstacles, dwelling on what you're seeing as blocks, dwelling on what the 3D might be showing that you don't like, then that is not shifting your state. You are still dominantly in your old state. You are still dominantly in your old story and your old energy. So you're not shifting your state at all. And that means your new reality and your new story cannot manifest in the 3D. So, so if your state is still the same, despite what techniques you might be doing, you're not really changing anything. And this is why the 3D might not be reflecting any change or any movement, um, or it might be showing you hot and cold. These are the two main reasons, if not the only reasons, why you might be manifesting your specific person for a while and still not seeing much movement or not much change, or you might be seeing a lot of hot and cold. So what do you do then to speed up your SP manifestation? Well, you want to be shifting your state. You want to be creating the experience within you of who you would be if your desire was true right now. If you were with your specific person in a relationship right now, if you and your specific person were back together now, if they had told you that they love you, that they commit to you, um, if you knew that you were in a safe, secure relationship with them, in a committed relationship with them, who would you be? What would you be thinking? What would you be feeling? How would you be carrying yourself? What would you be assuming? What would your beliefs be? How would you respond to circumstances? How would you respond to things that are happening in the 3D? All these sorts of things. And the techniques can actually really, really help you reach that state they can help you feel like the person who already has their desire now, but it's very, very important that you shift from the old story, from dwelling on the old story, from being your old self, that old self who was in the old story and the old relationship, engaging with their specific person in their old version, to someone new, because you're creating a new reality. So you want your thoughts, your feelings, your assumptions, your beliefs, the way you carry yourself, the way you feel about the situation, the way you respond to circumstances, to actually align with that new story that you're desiring and that you're creating and that you're working on bringing into your 3D. And that is your state and that is what you need to be focusing on. Do that and I promise you, once it becomes dominant within you, once the door closes on the old 3D, it's going to start being reflected to you. The 3D is going to start reflecting the new reality back to you and you will probably start seeing movement, you will probably start seeing results very, very, very fast. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.